Good morning, and welcome to another episode of Backyard Bible. So everybody figured today I would be doing a Halloween theme. And that's because, um, well, I kind of get into Halloween a little bit. I'm out in my front yard today. And they weren't entirely wrong. I'm here because I have the backdrop of my cemetery. So, the question is, what's Backyard Bible about today? Well, today the Backyard Bible is about this. It's a penny. It's a lonely penny. Now, most people say the penny's not significant. And to an extent, they're right. It's the lowest form of denomination or currency in the United States. So there isn't a whole lot you can buy with a penny, at least not by itself. But when you put this penny with 99 of its friends, you can buy a burger off of the dollar menu. So when you put the penny along with 99 other pennies, it becomes a dollar and it has greater value. Together, the 100 pennies is able to make something, uh, make a good purchase of something like the dollar menu hamburger. By itself though, the penny can't do that. If you're a penny short, if you have only 99 pennies, you're not gonna be able to buy the hamburger. Now some nice person might give you the penny to finish it off so you can buy it, but 99 pennies alone can't buy the burger. It requires all 100. This penny is just as important as any other penny out of the 100. They're all equally important. You take any one of them out and you can't buy the burger. If you have one penny short of a million dollars, you're not a millionaire. Well, everybody will round it off and they'll call you a millionaire, but you're really not a millionaire. You're a penny short. So a penny has a lot of value when it's taken with other pennies. The same thing happens in a lot of things in life. It happens in the church. When you're part of a congregation, while you're one individual, the rest of those individuals make you more powerful. You have more uh, capabilities with multiple people than you do with one. So each individual is important, just like each individual penny out of the dollar is important, but together they have more power. The other way this works is when it comes to an election. So today we actually are talking about voting. Everybody's vote is significant and important. Just like this penny as part of the dollar, each vote is important in an election. We've been given a tremendous gift. Many places around the world, most places around the world, do not have free elections like we do. Each individual in this country who's registered to vote has the power to make a difference. Now, a lot of people will say that their vote isn't that significant. Well, back when George W. Bush was running for president against Al Gore, only a few thousand votes in Florida made the difference in the election. They made the final decision. And many of those people were actually called to be checked to see if they actually voted. So they were called by name. Individual people made the difference as to who became president. Now, whether you agree with or disagree with whoever became president is really irrelevant. Those votes all counted. And if those people considered themselves insignificant, history would have been completely different. So it's important to get out to vote. If you are a good Christian, a good Muslim, Jew, Hindu, agnostic, atheist, if you're a good citizen of this country, you will vote. It's important that you do. Now, occasionally you'll hear people complain will say, I don't like my government. I don't like the way things are going. Your question to them should be, did you vote? Because if you didn't vote, you gave up the right to complain. Only people who vote have the opportunity or the right, as far as I'm concerned, to complain about or to criticize or even support what's going on because they were part of the process to get the solutions. When you vote, you speak up. It's not just about the presidential election. We're voting for senators, congressmen, county people. We're voting for our local uh, legislators and our school boards. We're also answering several questions that are very important. So if you're a young person and you're not able to vote yet, encourage your family to vote. If you're turning 18, the first thing you should do is go out and get registered to vote. Take advantage of that. If you're an adult and you haven't registered, do so. And if you haven't registered yet and it's too late for this election, it's not too late for the next one to register. This year, more than ever, it's easy to vote. They sent the ballot to your home. You don't even have to get out of bed 
just color in with a black mark or a black uh, pen or an ink pen uh, the various circles that you're interested in and put it in the envelopes follow the instructions and mail it off so I encourage you again if you're a good Christian or even if you're a good Muslim if you're a good Hindu a good Jew a good agnostic a good deist whatever you are if you're going to be good you need to vote good citizens vote. Election Day is the third, but for all of us in here in New Jersey, Election Day is any day we make it to the mailbox. So again, everybody, be thankful for the right and the opportunity to express yourself in your government and become a participant in the solutions to problems.